<laughs> okay, we'll start. Okay, we're going to learn. This is the Sikha that's being learned by a project of the Sikhas all over the world. And this week is two parshas, Achre and Kedeshim. So the way the way it's set up is that it'll, the two Sikha that's learned this week is the first one in Achre, Chedek Zion, and the first one in Kedeshim, Chedek Zion. We're going to be learning the first one in Achre. It's not a short Sikha, so how long it will take. Actually, this Sikha is a Hadran, I'm a Sikha Yume. Because in the beginning of Achre, it talks about the Avedim Kippur, which is spoken about in the Sikha Yume. So this is the Hadran of Sikha Yume. The Rebbe says like this, in the Hanke Kaparsha, this week's Parsha, by the Avedim from Kayan Godel, the Yerak Kippurim, he talks about the Avedim of the Kayan Godel and Yom Kippur in the Beis Amikdosh. Shtay the Posik says, Vechipur Ba'adri Ba'ad Beisei, that when he brings the Korbanis, this will, he will be forgiven, he will be forgiven, this will forgive for him, and for his house. Can everyone please uh, mute themselves? What does it mean for his house? Darshan Chazal, the Chazal say in the beginning of Mesich the Yume, the first Mishnah, Beisei Zu Ishte, when it says, for him and for his house, his house means his wife. The land top, the food top, the God will be like a food in the same and not and from that, we learn now that the King God and Yom Kippur must be a married person. It's one of the conditions for the King God to do the Aveda in Yom Kippur if he is married. And the Rechiv of the King God is Zayn and also in this Rechiv, the King God must be married. Is Adin Meyuchat was the Gizogi about Nor B'Nigay Yom Kippur, specifically only for Yom Kippur. Look where you're going, don't have the phone. And not for a whole year. Everyone please, everyone please mute themselves. The Valvo when you hear other noises. But it's only for him keep it. In all other texts, I can go to the Chumshat of Zion and In every day of the year, any other day of the year besides him keep it, I can go to could participate part of the Avede. The other Rabbi, in welchem Mishmar has only Zion, is a Makrev Chedig Berosh. The other Kehanim have a certain time when they bring when they do the Avede in the Bishamikdash. When their Mishmar came up, when their time came up, the King God could come whenever he wants, and he is Makrev, and he gets to the top. Top parts of what to do by the Aveda. So he could do it anytime. Over the Bible, he's talking tonight. There's no condition that he has to be married, like the condition that is that I am keeping. He could only do the Aveda if he's married. The Buddha that does what my beer of us bought it, this needs an explanation. Aveda for him keeper, for him keeper, is the Betachel Sayilu. I am keeper is the highest level of an Aveda in the Bissamita. The highest level of Dusha come together. The highest level in Kedusha in space, the highest level of Dusha in time, and the highest level of Dusha in the levels of a Yid. Signin Ayyidua, the famous expression, there are three things. Eilam, Shona, Nefesh. The Rosh Tevis is Oshon. Eilam is world, which is, means in place. Shono is year, which means in time, and nefesh means in people. So Yom Kippur is the Aveda is done, the highest level of Gdush in all three. How is it? The Aveda is done in the Kedesh HaKadosh, the Holy of Holies, which is the holiest place in the world. Which day is it? In Yom HaKadosh. In the holy day we have a as people call it, which is the Helix of Mount Fenior, the holiest time of the year. And it's done through the Kayan Godel, the greatest one of amongst all the Kayanim of Emma's state concerning the Kayanim. It says, that that gets holy, he's considered holy of holies. The Kayan Godel is higher than all the Kayanim who are holy, the Kayan Godel is higher than them. Remember, like it says, Vakayan Hagodl Miyachov, the Kayan is greater, bigger than his brothers. It says he's bigger, Kiyan Yavai Mekachi, because I am Hashem who's making him holy. So we see the Kayan Godl is the holiest person, because the holiest place, the holiest time, the year, and the holiest person gets together. So you could imagine the level of Gdusha that takes place then. The question is, Had Vikum, does as Dafke by the Ravede be him? I keep putting, why is it Dafke and Ravede in Kippur? Monsik has the King God, who is my Muslim, I know, so he has to be married. Why is being married so important for him to do the Ravede on the holiest day? Always of the year, it's not a problem. Only on Yom Kippur, he has to be married. It's me, I bet not, I said, the question is even stronger. Ain't the Fundi Achonet, so the Ravede be him, I keep putting me. 
one of the preparations the King Godel has to do as a preparation for Yom Kippur is because often the Zelber mission, the same first mission in Meshach to Yom, it says, Zion Yomim Afrishim King Godel Mibesei. Seven days before Yom Kippur, as a preparation to Yom Kippur, they separate him from his house, from his wife. So as a preparation, it means he should not be with his wife. And at the same time, to be to be married, to have a wife, is a condition by the King Godel, and it must be, and if not, the Aveda is not kosher. And when is that? That proves as those was can go to be my kippur and muzayin anosa that the fact that they can go to my kippur has to be married. Like the rina ninya miyuchet was gitzu the shleimus from can go to. There's something special here that adds to the completion, the greatness of the can go to. The far further the chesed of can go to be my kippur. Since this adds to the greatness, the I am kippur. He has to be the greatest. So the question is, why is this such a great thing that the can go to has to be married I am kippur? Again, I'm asking if you could please mute yourself. He has borrowed from the maiden, even the gizok and din, and the king God will be him, and he put him down, I know, so the Rebbe even adds in the point here. This idea that the king God will has to be married, I am keeper, and that is something special, and that's why he has to be married, I am keeper, can we learn it, it's very fun, if you can learn it in two ways. Number one, because it's a din in the Ravayda of Yom Kippur. It's a din, the fact that the king God has to be married is a din in Yom Kippur, in the Ravayda of Yom Kippur. It's a din in Yom Kippur, it's a din in because it's so important, the greatness of Aveda and you keep it. Darv is a keton ver, need to hake and stam. So to hake and godl has to be done not only through a regular kain, it has to be done through kain godl. Or need to hake and godl stam, the daft to hake and godl was hot as the mile from basis of each day. It has to be done through a kain godl who has a big mile of being married. His wife, basis of each day, is married. And that's a mile, he didn't say what, but obviously it must be a great mile. But it's a mile according to this way. In Yom Kippur, the Aveda of Yom Kippur requires the greatest level of a person. But what requires it? The Aveda of Yom Kippur. The second way to learn is that the Din of Yom Kippur It's not that Yom Kippur requires it. It's a Din that the Kain Godel has to be that way. In them talk for Yom Kippur, Musa Kain Godel, Zayin Mahecher Amayil and Shleimus. On the day of Yom Kippur, the Kain Godel has to be in the highest level. On al derech on megifin the kama bekama dargis and the Kain Godel bechlau. Even chol hashan the bechlau we do find levels. In a Kayan Godel, even the whole year. You have a Kayan Godel, Meshuach, Vashem, and Amishcha. The highest level of a Kayan Godel is the way it was in the Mishkan and the way it was in the first place. Amigdosh, what made him in the Kayan Godel? They anoint him with the Shem and Amishcha at the highest level. Then you have a Kayan Godel, which is Merube Begodim. He, there was no Shem and Amishcha, but when he wears the eighth garment that the Kayan Godel has to wear, he's also a Kayan Godel, but that's a lower level. Okay, so you have other cases, levels of Kayan Godel. So, the king Godel has to be even greater. What is the shot? He has to be greater. He has to have another mile as a king Godel. So, it's not because Yom Kippur requires him to be married, it's the level of Yom Kippur of King Godel that needs to be then is requires he should be married. What is the difference between these two ways of learning? Well, you can't make a chkira and think which one is a better way if there's no nafkmina lalocha. Some, you know, the hakta china gives this, like this, like this. It has to be nafkmina. So there is a nafkmina lalocha here, and this like this. In Yem Kip, Yem Kippur, in the Chabran, Eir the Avedis, in Sutti Yadim Tov. In Kippur, there were special Avedis, but there were also things that they did in Kippur, in the Bishamik, the Roshan Aveda, that they did every day. Which is not connected specifically to Yom Kippur. They did the Yom Kippur too, but it's not because of Yom Kippur. The Akrovas had to had to bring the Korban Tomit every day of the year, including Yom Kippur. Haktoras Kteris, they brought Kteris every day, they brought Yom Kippur too. Hatovas Haneris, lighting, preparing the Neiris, the candles, etc., etc. So these are things which have nothing to do with Yom Kippur. But, but the special din. That I am keeper, even the regular Avedas had to be done to the King God. If Agama the Gdush of Yim Kippur is pale eich of the Avedas, the truth is the Gdush of Yim Kippur has an effect even on those Avedas, which is not specifically for Yim Kippur. The Moshna Gimora Ahana, the Gimora says Yim Kippur helps for them also, that they also have an Ali, our higher level. When that's the thing, they need the David to the Avedas, the Chazan and Norbert Yim Kippur, still not the same. As the Avedis, which are only there in Kippur. And the Rebbe Kemazog, so you could say like this. Hey, Midolonim and Ados was the king, Godel, Darzayna, Nosoy. 
is Achi even the Aveda for Yemeki Purim? If we'll accept the first way that the reason the king girdle has to have this smile, whatever the smile is, as we'll see later, but he has to have this smile that he's married. Is Negea to the Aveda the Yom Kippur has to be in a higher level? Is Doa not to Zog, not the Gabba the Aveda, is the Nitki Bunim Yom Kippur, is Amke and Godly Toder Hibs, I don't know. So it's possible to say that those things that he did on Yom Kippur, which are not Yom Kippur special, these are things that you do every day, including Yom Kippur. And the king God has to do it. But since this is a mile in the Aveda of Yom Kippur, the other things are not the Aveda of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur affects them, but they're not the Aveda of Yom Kippur. So maybe those Avedas could be done by a king God that's not married. Because only the Aveda of Yom Kippur requires a king God that's married. Overlay that's faith is whatever they call to the second way. That it's the din in the king god. The king god has to be in a higher level. So it comes out. This is what he has to be married. Also applies to the other Avedas, which is not Yom Kippur, the Avedas, the Avedas of every day. Since the fact that he has to be married has nothing to do with Avedas, it has to do with the king god. There was to all of Yom Kippur. He does have the Aveda of Yom Kippur. So if the King Godel has to be a married King Godel, in other words, it's, it's obviously the King Godel has to be, but it's a din in being a King Godel on that day. So everything that King Godel has to do, he has to be a married one. While if we're saying it's a din in the Aveda of Yom Kippur, so things which are not specifically the Aveda of Yom Kippur, maybe the King Godel doesn't have to be married. This is a shot. The way we just said, it comes out that the Ramam accepts the second svara. That's a mile in the Kayan Godel. How do we see that the Ramam holds like that? The Azok, like the Ramam says, that even the other Avedas of that day, bringing the Kedas that you bring every day, and making the candles, preparing or, or lighting the Meneda. Hakal also the Kayan Godel, no, so everything has to be with the Kayan Godel that's married. Is that I that the Rambam holds it's a din in the King God because had it been a din in the Aveda of Yom Kippur, so those things which are not the Aveda of Yom Kippur don't need a King God will marry. But since Rambam says that even those things in the King God that's married, that's similar, that's a din in the King God, it's a mile in the King God if he's married, and that mile is needed on Yom Kippur. What is the mile of a King God being married? But as I move behind my beard in the Mishnah, we'll explain this by what it says in the Mishnah. The Mishnah says like this. The the Posik says he will forgive for him and for his house. And the, the, the Chazal say, what does it mean, his house? They say, his house means what? As the Mishnah says, the meaning here of Beise doesn't mean a house physically, it means his wife. Why doesn't it say in the Posik, Ishtay? Why does it say the word Ishtay? Which is clear, basically, could have another meaning in the house. And if it means Dafke, his wife, it should have said Ishtay. Adrebe says like this The Ruba, 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 why didn't the Posik say it directly what it is? The answer is very simple. The Posik says it the kids said. And since the explanation is longer, the Tater didn't say it. Like immediately, there's nothing that's not hinted in the Tater. So whatever the Chazal say is hinted in the Tater, but it's hinted. It says the kids and the Chazal explain it. But here it's not like that. But the Tater Shabbat said that basically means Ishtay. It's not in the Tater Shabbat it's a whole line. It's five, ten words. But in Pesach, it says one word. It's also one word. They say it's one word, and Ishtay is one word. He's a shtod, the word base of the Tere Gufi. He can't spell Ishtay. It's the word base. The Tere could have written Ishtay. Muzma Zogna has made the word base. The Tere Uyson to Zogna Ninian in Ishtay was his own gedite with the word base. It must be that the Tere wants to say. Pesach wants to tell us not only that you have to have a wife on your people. Telling us what is the Indian in having a wife. And that is told by the word basic. The says, I stay the zog the neat nor the metzem dina the king godel does. I know the tater is not just saying the mere din that the king godel has to be married. 
that if she is married, then he will have the mile of Beise, the mile of Yuchedes when Ishte is his Beise. He'll have the mile of Ishte, but not just plain Ishte. In Ishte Gufa, the mile is because she is Beise. So by writing the word Beise, and it means Ishte, it tells you not only the fact, it tells us also the explanation behind it. What is it? What is the explanation? How is the word Beise explained to Maile in having his wife? To understand this Maile of Beise's wife, I never in my life called my wife my wife. I never called my ox my ox. For my wife, I always called her Basie, my house. For the shady, my ox, I always called Sodi, my field. For Peter Shrasha, Rasha says, Ishti, why did he call his wife? Not my wife, but Basi, my house, because she he ikash because she is the main part of the household. Well, the shady sodi, why did he call his ox my field? Show ikash al sota, because the ikir of a field, the main thing of field is the ox. Without the ox, nothing will grow. Except it says, when do you have a lot of food, a lot of grain, when you have a lot of produce? When you have an ox. The ox comes and plows, and then you can able to plant. So he called his wife. Basically, my house, because she's the ikir of the house, he's called his ox in my field, because the purpose of the ox is the field. In Lukash, it's hard to but superficially, it's hard to understand. The maimah for Rabbi Yaisi, kum besugi shom, in Ein Hemshech, this statement of Rabbi Yaisi, that he never called his white wife, but he called my house, comes in continuation, ubemele in Ein Teichem, but has the same meaning, with noch my modem for Rabbi Yaisi, with Agamogas Teves, who's here to see Durim. In connection to other things that Rabbi Yaisi said that he's doing special mitzvahs or he's doing special hidurim, special carefulness, special my inyonim that he's doing beruchnius. And then it says one of the things that he said, which comes along together with the other hidurim that he did, is this that he called his wife my house. What's a hidur? It goes together with hidur. So you call her basi. What, what's the heater there? The same thing with Shader Sodi, he called his ox the field. What, what is the, why is that something special that Rabbi Yaisi says, oh, I, I have this special mile, this special heater, I'm calling my wife Basi instead of Ishti. The Rebbe said, the beer in them, the explanation is like this. You know that I know for Rabbi Yaisi, Dvik Tzichuiz and Derech and Aveda. It's not just Tamil, he used this word, he used that word. By saying that, it expresses his Derech in serving the Ishti. The Erzad, the Gansabriya how he looks at the whole creation, how he looks at everything in the world. It means like this. Not only does he see that there is a halabos to this world, that there is somebody, David, that runs the world, and he knows that. Not only does he see what the Chazal say, that whatever Hashem created in the world is everything for his honor. But not only that, but he sees something deeper. When you looked at anything in the world, he didn't look at what it is. He saw it in when he's looking at what it is. He saw its goal, its purpose. And not just what the thing is. He saw its purpose right away so much. When he referred to something, he referred not to the way the thing is looking the way it is, but the way it's in the world of Rabbi Yaisi. But by him, he can't, he can't, uh, but by him, he can't sign Karosi Lishti Ishti. So he couldn't call Ishti Ishti. Or Marzet Nitishti, nor Azet Beisi. When he looked at his wife, he didn't see a wife. He saw that being the house, meaning the Baldi Zach for Nisuyan, the idea of marriage Ishti, which is his wife, is Agdomo Nachonat Tuniki Vitachos, the point is an introduction, preparation. To its goal, what's the goal? But does it that came from Mr. Spirit believe that to fulfill the mitzvah of having children? Uf shall not buy is this role to build a house by Eden. Was kumti at itself and the swim which comes as a result of the marriage, but the delivered ishti is then not out basic. So when he saw ishti, he saw the tachlis. The ishti created everything for a tachlis. So there's one thing in knowing in your mind that there is this tachlis. If him, it wasn't just he knew in his mind, and he knew the Ebesh that makes everything, there was a tachlis. When he looked at it, that's what he saw. He saw, he looked, 
It, it, it was transparent. He looked in it and he saw this is what the tachlis is. That's what he saw. So, the they say that when a scientist deals with water in the laboratory, it's hydrogen, H2O, two, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, whatever, and he deals with it as far as the scientific things. So when he looks at a glass of water, he doesn't see water. He sees what the water really is. When it comes to drink a glass of water, he has to change it and say, oh, this is water to drink. So Rabbi Yaisi looked at these inyonim in the veld and he saw in it the top of it. We find an explanation of the Shainu right of the Shaila of the famous question. Why is there no bracha for getting married, for giving Kedushin? The bracha should have been, no, there is a bracha. One of the Sadr Kedushin makes the bracha, it's called Birchas Edison. But they, why don't they have a regular bracha? Why didn't they make it by marriage? Mitzvah. So one of the reasons that the him give because the Dushan, the first day they give the ring to the and then the marriage. Are only a hagdama b'achonah tzemikir b'tachlis v'skum shpete durchin kiyum v'mitzvah spitzit v'diza. There is no goal in the marriage itself. The whole purpose of the marriage is what comes later to fulfill the mitzvah of having children. But mainly, you only you don't make a bracha when you're only doing something that's an introduction. So the Yehi saw in his wife, which is his wife in marriage, he's married to his wife. He saw the tachlis why David they made it. And with this, he was different than his friend, the other Tanoim, which means, the other Tanoim, the other Tanoim, the given sight in Yomim, was Karisi, the Ishti Ishti. Sometimes they would say, my wife, they wouldn't say Basi. See, the Yaisi was the one that said, never in my life, said, Miyomai, never in my life did I call my wife my wife, which means other people also sometimes call the Basi, but sometimes they call the Ishti. He says, I never call the Ishti. So he's different than them. They would just call her sometimes Ishti. They saw a wife as what a wife is. Without and before you come to the purpose of being the household, which means being the house, being the children, we having children, which is building the house. But there's nothing wrong with that. The Tanoim did that. It's also a chosh. Now, Petera. Now, Petera is your wife. We find with Gay and Taylor that you have to deal with your wife as a, because she's a wife. The post says, that when you go to war, it's the first year he's married, he should be clean, he should be able to go home to his wife. But but can to go home to be able to make his wife happy? The Mercenior. And this is a din. It's not that you have to go home so you should be able to give with the children and have a proper home. You have to go home because of your wife, and there's no children yet. Because the trader wants you to be with your wife, to be happy with your wife. Alvera said the tzibur be the goal in the sin of chesishtim. So when tzibur is a din, you have to make your wife happy. These are the Friday demand from Gevisa under the chayuvim that makes him free of other types of obligation because he has an obligation to make his wife happy. Another thing that says ish veisha zochah shchina b'neiam, a man and a woman, husband and wife are zeicher. They merit the shchina is among them. So just having be you and your wife, there is a shchina there. There are all kinds of inyonim in Teira that's between husband and wife in the marriage. But there's nothing wrong with that. And the other Tanoim sometimes looked at the wife as a wife. The whole purpose, the whole Metzias of living married is, was because in order to fulfill the obligation of pru'urvu, in order to fulfill the purpose of the creation that David made, it should be an inhabited place to have children. But in them, inyan ishte, so in this inyan, which is the wife, which is the, the marriage part, so he saw the in her, the tachlis, the tachlis of why David made it. So he, that's why he called her not Ishti, never called her, he called her Basi. Look, Mela Dover, he brings an example. My Chazal, the Chazal say, Who's called the Chacham, the one that sees what's going to happen, what's going to be born, what's going to come, the future? Now, the Pirish Aposhen in them is, the simple Pshat is, 
the Chokha Fashtet of Vais and Yedin Nina was as what Nailed Venderpun. You're smart, you could figure out everything, what's going to be the result, what's going to come after that. You're smart, you, you could figure out, you could know that. Oh, but the deal can then be is a statement you day as in there, but if you look at it, it doesn't say he knows the future or what's going to be, or the maven, okay, or something like he understands the future. No, Reyes Hanelet, he sees, that's called a Chokham, he sees. What do you mean he sees? He's a Sach Meri Yedi and Avon, seeing is much more than knowing and understanding. The Chokham Zetem Tumadik Nelet, he sees what's going to be. Punti Allah Zen, the Zach was in a Shengdobe pale, just like a regular person, everybody else. Whatever is there, you could see. And that's, but, but things that are going to happen, you don't see. So, and seeing is something special over not seeing, over hearing, understanding. Hearing or even understanding is not like seeing. You could, have, you could hear something and understand it, and it's very strong, and it's very, very clear to you. And sometimes it's not only clear, but it even has a ashpoah that you will, because of what you heard, then you know you will do something. It says by when he came to the desert to see Meshach Rabbeinu, it says, what did he hear? It made him come. In other words, by it wasn't time he heard. He heard it in such a way that it had an effect on him. Nevertheless, in order to get it completely, so if Yisrael saw it, heard it, Heard, what is that? What, what did Yisrael hear? All kinds of things. He came to the desert. The Rosh says, what made him come? He wants to come and see the Eden, see Mesha. He see it with his own eyes. But he heard it. And he heard it in the right way that he knew it was true. And it even affected him to come. But it's still not the same. He wanted to see it with his eyes. So seeing is something special. That's what the Gemara means. See, he understands What's going to be? He figures out what's going to be so strong as Ervet Areyes Anela. He becomes somebody who sees it. He's not a day other than not only understands. The same thing was by Reb Yesi. Reb Yesi saw in his Ishte, in his wife, he saw her. When he looked at her, this is what he saw. This explains why this statement of Reb Yesi, of Reb Yesi, that he said in my whole life, I never ever called my wife Ishti, but I always called her Daisy. Kum Bald Nochzaimaima comes right after another statement he made. What did he say? He said, Chomesh Be'ilis Ba'alti. I had, I did five, I had five times intimacy with my wife. And I planted five cedar trees, five great, great daily Israel, five great tzaddikim. He had five sons, the Gemara says. And he says he did five be'ilas, and from that he had five sons. Why is, and that comes right after, when it says here, that I called my wife Daisy, not Ishti, comes right after this. Why? What he said first, that he had only five sons with his wife, and he had five children, great tzaddikim, is megaladem teichel and nekudem from the Maim Shalachlam. That explains the next statement. The next statement after he said these five things, about these five, the next statement was, I didn't call my wife my wife, because this explains it. In Zayn Seder with Ishti, in his Seder with his wife, there was no other Mitzvah, besides getting the bias, which is the multiplication, the proof of who, the having the children, and he had his five children. The father says, he bowed me that's why even Lechatchile, not only when he had the children, he called her Basie, because she brought him these children to the world. He says, Miyomai, from my life, from ever. He right away, Shmongeruf Mitnomen, from Yertachas, called her by the name of her goal. That's basic. Nochme, go for it. Nit nor in the Mina Medabe, but Pratabas is thrown up because Edna from Tachlis. But yes, not only in a person, a human being, he saw it, especially in a Jewish woman, Jewish girl, he saw only its goal. Nor in the Azekazen in the Minachai, also in the living in animals. He also saw that right away the Tachli, in the Shair and Ax. But God is Kayla lately to us, I held Kebedel Becholuse. When you talk, said that I called my Shair, not by the name Shair, it doesn't mean only the Shair, it means this represents the Tvur, that represents all the things in the world that he had. Echin Shair hat er gesehen noch, nor dem Tachlis und dem Atore von der Metzies. Even in an Ax, he saw, when he looked at it, he didn't see the Ax as a Metzies of an Ax. 
it has a tachlis, which is sode for the field. The minion from Varav to us, the Kayak Sheir, was from the Pachisha Uzia, Uxiri in Sode. The fact that the Tua, the grain, comes with the ox, the Kayak, the power of the ox, because he plows and then you plant and then you, plant, and then you cut, etc., etc., in the field. He saw that not after the ox did the job already. Oh, so now I see the ox made it grow. So now he looks at the ox as my field. Even before, he never ever called him different. Right away, when he saw an ox, this is what he said. Even before he plowed, plowed and planted. Miyoma, he said, from, from all years, oh, ever, always. But the Niki can't roof and I never could call my ox ox. In the ox, he saw and called. My son, because he saw his whole life was only what the Abisha wants, what the tachlis of it, what's the tachlis Abisha made it. And that's being of he called Rabbi Shapiro, Shapiro. Rabbi Shapiro. Yes. Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you. It seems the only one who could help this, it's very noisy to hear tonight and we get hard to hear. The only one who could turn it off is you because you're the host. What can I do? I don't know. If you if you go to the participants on the bottom of your screen, yeah, yeah. If you if you if you click that, you'll have a little box, and in one of the buttons there will say mute all. So you, if you could just mute everybody, because apparently they don't know how to unmute themselves. Okay, done. Now it's muted. Okay, thank you, thank you. It was Mavalvo me also. Okay. So now we understand what is the pshat in Ishti being Basi. The whole analysis of the grace of Maila from Kayan Godel was a rod, the Yemakipurim Gedar Zaina Nosui, and Afkin and Nathan from Basis of Ishti. Now we'll understand why Anyam Kippur, the Kayan Godel, had to be married, but not stay married. Married in a way that Ishti is a basic. The Posik says he should have a wife, but how does it say it? By the word. By the word ishte, by the word basi, I mean. So it's uh, telling you that I am keeper the Kayan God will have to be married with a wife, but he had to look at his wife with the tachlis of what she's there for. Thus, main canal this means they're hoping to pay ishte, having a wife. He had to be an yam keeper in the level that he should only see his wife as basi. He said before in the beginning of the Sikha that the Maila of being married at Yom Kippur is not a din in the Aveda. From the Rambam, it seems that it's a din in the Kayan Godel. That he has to be in a higher Madrege. Now we know it is a higher Madrege. Seeing, being that level of Rabbi Yaisi, seeing in Ishtay the Tachlis of what David made is seeing Basi, that makes him higher. The Chazal Zogn. Call Misha Ainley by Say Nodam. He connects it to this Chazal. Chazal say, whoever doesn't have a house is not a person. As the Hobma Bayes, the Grechter to Maila Sodom. Having a home, you become an Odom. And in this, the Gemara really means having a home to live in. But the Rebbe uses the same lotion here. Having a bias, which means having the level of Ishte Zubese, makes you into an Odom. It says, Misha Ainley Bayes Say Nodam. Because that elevates you to a higher Madrege. So I am keeper, the Kayan Godel had to be the highest level that he sees in Ishta Zubese. As far as the Tere Madai, it's on the Moloshan Base, you need Ishta, that's why it says Base, not Ishta. But they the Madkizain at the Kayan Godel, the Ashtain is the Darge from Ishti Base. Kayan Godel has to be in this high level of Ishti, means Base. The Tere Shiva Pet touched this Uis in the Ranhoge called Yoma from the Base, like the Tere, like the Gemara, the Tere Shiva Pet says that the Base was always like that. So we can't even expect from the Kayan Godel all year round to be like that. But at least I am keeper. We want the Kayan Godel to be in that level. We bow that the din that the Kayan Godel darbi yom keeper dana nosi is mitzvah machiyuv. Now, because we're saying that this din that the Kayan Godel and yom keeper has to be married is not just an obligation, nor a struct in zich the shleimus hamayin Kayan Godel bases which the canal. This means that the Kayan Godel has to be in a very very high madrege of realizing that ishte is a base base is ishte. The far is late svara hashniyah. Like we said before, it's not an din of the Yom Kippur, nor a din together in the Kayan Godel, in Vosfara Darget, it's a din of the Kayan Godel. Since it's a din that he has to be married on Yom Kippur in such a way, and this is something that we said that is a high madrege, and we said before it's a din in the Aveda of, in the, in the Kayan Godel, that he, what he's supposed to be Yom Kippur, not in the Aveda. So since it's in the Ken Godel, that and it fits to what we're saying before 
the whole time that it said darge in the person's mind, so it fits to what we're saying that the din of the can godel has nothing to do with the avedin in keep. It's not the avedin in keep. It needs to, to be married. We need a great a great can godel in keep. And this makes the king of the great. So what we said before, that this is a darge in the person, fits to what we said before, that the din of having a king godel married, a yim keeper is a din in the king godel is the person's higher madri. This is all connected to the beginning of Masih the Yume. Because in the beginning of Masih the Yume, there it says this Indian, this quotes the posting, keeper bad about base, base is uishte. So this is a pshat in that din that he has to be married and in the form of basis. That's the beginning of a sikhta yume. Ki yadua is doa kesha v'shaycha tzvishin dara scholo v'na mesikhta yume siyim. There's a connection between the beginning of the Gemara and the end. But the father is mesikh meig in a hadrin to gifin in a teicha m'shutev from the siyim from the mesikhta yume dara scholo. That's why by when you make a hadrin and a mesikhta, the normal say that is, we always try to find the connection between the beginning and the end. So... The beginning of Masih the Yume, which we, the Inya we spoke about, has a shaykhas to the end. They have a need in So here too, the Inya from Beis is the Ishtay, was his Gizogivon in the Eshta Mishta from Masih the Yume. This idea that Beis is the Ishtay, which is written in the first Masih, the first mission of Masih the Yume, Hot Akesher Midem Siyum from the last mission in the Masih, has a connection to the last mission of the Gemara, of this Masih. What's the end of the, the end of the mission? Omar Rabbi Akiva says, Rabbi Akiva said, Asheikham Yisrael. Yidin, you are lucky. You should know in front of who do you become clean, purified. Or someplace that, and who is cleaning you? Your father in heaven. Where do we see that? It says, I will pour spritz on you, clean water, and make you toer. But Amen, another passage says, Mikveh Yisrael Hashem. Simple pshat is that mikvah means the hope of Eden is Hashem, but the Gemara touches it, the Akiva touches it, that mikvah is from the word mikvah. Ma mikvah metayras atmeim, just like mikvah makes a person a storm and makes him toher. Afakadosh baruch metayras Yisrael, David Shlomo is eaten toher. So what the Akiva said, Eden are lucky, and the two things, who, in front of who are you becoming toher? For whose sake are you becoming toher? And who makes you toher? And he quotes Sukhman Zeibishter. So pashtein dem kesher, in order to understand the connection between this and what we said before in the beginning of the Mesichta, first we got to stop and look into certain questions that we have in what Rebbe Kiva said. Number one, what's Rebbe Kiva telling us here? What new thing is he telling us? It's self-understood that the only Tebishter could forgive. Cleaning here means forgive the Averis. Who could forgive Arabi? Only the Ebishter. It's clear in the many Psukim and Chumash and Nevi'im and Ksuvim. What's the Bakiva telling us? Especially right before the Mishnah brings what the Bakiva said, it says like this The Posik says that from all your Averis, you will be clean in front of Hashem. So Rabbi Lozim and Azariah said, Avedis should be not in the mock, and we make a put him a chapter. Avedis between a person and David, the keeper will forgive. Avedis should be not in the mock, Avedis between Adam to David, the keeper will forgive. Avedis should be not in the mock, Avedis, Avedis, that's between a person, man, and another man. And you make a put him a chapter, a chiratas, Avedis. The keeper will not forgive unless you appease your friend, the one you sinned against. Was from them was Dobet Gizok, Aditaro, and Kapora for him, keeper is Lipni Hashem. The laws of Nazari quoted the Posik and saying that where does the Tara, where does the Kapora for Eden come? So it says, Lifni Hashem Titoro, from, Hash, from Hashem. Is Mavuri, right? The Kapora, come to the Mabish. So that itself tells us that the Kapora comes from Hashem. So what's the Bakib adding? So the Shaili is like two Prati. One Prati is, Bechlal, what's he adding? Self understood. Everyone knows that the Kapora, the Tara, the Kapora comes from Mabish. Especially. That in the same Mishnah, Rebbe Lozab Nazari said it already. Rebbe Lozab Nazari quotes the post in Kol Chatasechem, Lifnei Hashem Titoru. So he said already it comes from the Mishnah. And then comes the statement of the Rabbi Akiva. What's he adding what Rebbe Lozab Nazari said? In other words, that even if you have to tell it to us for some odd reasons, he said it already. Second question. Nochmer is it near. Parvoz dafer Rebbe Akiva onka mutzara is a second. This Boruch is metare di Eden. To na posik in Nevi'im. To na posik in Yecheskel. 
Und er sagt, damit nicht mit Stapik und bringt eine zweite Reihe von Jeremia. Why does he need to prove this? Bring a Reihe there. Der Ebischte ist der Mund, that makes us teuer. So he quotes it from, from Tanach. Von Posik in Yecheskel. And that's not even enough. And then the Posik of the second Reihe von Jeremia. Weiß, dass ich da Posik mit Furisch und Chumisch. It's a clear Posik und Chumisch. Was wird gebracht in die Rebellos of Nazarik? And as we said, right before him, Rebellos of Nazarik quoted the Posik. The Posik says on this day, but it says, he will forgive you, to make you clean, and he uses the word clean like Rabbi Kivi uses. In the Posik it says, lift the Hashem to Torah, the cleanliness will be in front of Hashem. So the Posik says exactly what Rabbi Kivi wants to say. And the Posik was brought. So now it comes Rabbi Kivi and says the same thing over and brings Raya from Tanakh something. Why does he have to do that? But other Rabbi, that came in them Posik, Ben Mefurish, the Mon debate the Protem, and you don't direct from Bakiva. Actually, in the Posik of Chumash, which the Bakiva doesn't bring, there, if you look at it, has the two details that the Bakiva said. What did the Bakiva say? The Bakiva said, You should know, Lifne Miat Metarim, in front of who are you becoming clean, and who is cleaning you. That's what it says in this Posik. Lifne Hashem, Lifne Miat Metarim, when he said, You have to know, you're lucky. That in front of Hashem, in front of who you should know, in front of who you make toyer, says in this posik, lifnei Hashem titoro. He said, lifnei me. So the posik that the Belozer of Nazaria brings, the posik in Chumash, says, lifnei Hashem titoro. Then the second thing, me metayer eschem, who makes you clean? So it says, yichapar lechem letayer eschem. He will forgive you to make you clean. The David will make you clean. So exactly both things that he says is in this posik. And nevertheless, he doesn't bring this posik, which was brought before. He brings two other psukim. So why does he say anything? It's nothing. No chidushim, nothing here. And we know it from anyway. And then if he does bring a raya, why does he bring that? Not from the, this posse. The Kenny Zong has a bekeeper is mechulik with Rebbe Lozim and Azariah. Maybe there's like this, like this. Maybe a certain shot. Rebbe Lozim and Azariah said his thing. That we see from this posse that when you do a veda between you, man, and Hashem, Hashem will forgive. And keeper will forgive. But if you do it between man and man, your keeper doesn't forgive unless you appease your friend. Maybe what the Rebbe is adding, he's arguing with Rebbe Lozim and Azariah. Maybe the Rebbe tells you no. I want to tell you, you said that if you did not wait between you and your friend, the keeper won't forgive. Let's you go to your friend to ask Mechila, whatever you have to peace in. And I argue, I'm telling you for every Avera Hashem, even for this Hashem forgives. And the Rebbe can't even bring in the Raya from Posig, the Rebbe can't even bring in the Raya from Posig, the Rebbe And that could be this. First of all, the question was asked, what's he adding? Maybe he's arguing on him. He's saying every Aveda David should forgive. And that's the, so that's the answer to the first Kasha. What's he adding here? Also, the second Kasha, why doesn't he bring that possible of Lozim and Azaria? Because there it says clearly, Lifni Hashem Tithoru. So, so you can't bring from there. Why? No, so maybe that's that he couldn't bring Lifni Hashem Tithoru. Because from Lifni Hashem Tithoru, it seems that only things that you did with Hashem, you'll become Torah. But things that you did to another person, you won't be forgiven. If Rabbi Kiva argues on that, he says you're forgiven even for that. He couldn't bring this posik. This posik only says, Lifni Hashem Titoro, what you did to Hashem, but not what you did to somebody else. So maybe that's the pshat. The Rebbe says, can be. But from the Moloshan, Omar Rabbi Kiva, Nit Rabbi Kiva Eimer, is moving from Rabbi Kiva, is Nit Mechulik with Rabbi Lozim and Azayan, or the Mesiv is on the There is a cloud known when you have two statements of two Tanoim. If the second one argues on the first, so it says the second one, Eimer. The first one says, Omar, oh, this person, sometimes, whatever, it's not always the same. But the second one always says, not Omar, but Eimer. Let's say, if it say, uh, Rabbi Shmuel. If it says in the second opinion, Omar Rabbi Shmuel, that means he's saying a new statement. He's not arguing. If he's arguing on what someone before him said, it would say, Rabbi Shmuel, Eimer. As if saying, he said so and so. He said something else. So it says his name and then Eimer. If it says Omar, it's like a new thing that Shmuel says. So here too, when it says by Rabbi Kiva, Omar Rabbi Kiva, it doesn't say Rabbi Kiva Eimer, shows that he's not arguing. So he's just saying something else. So he's not arguing, then he's saying the same thing. So what's he saying? Why is he saying it Bechlal? And why does it bring other ayahs? Ech kem and we also can't say, as Rabbi Kiva is mesik v'madgish, that maybe Rabbi Kiva is adding, he's trying to stress, as ech noch nevirat merazik v'nez chaveri, muz menech v'averi shemlodim l'chaveri onkum and zatar al debi chen shemashmayim. Maybe the opposite. First, he said, maybe he says that if it's an Aveda between man and man, they should forgive. Now, he maybe wants to add something else. He wants to add 
that even by Avedis, that between man and man, Hashem has to forgive you. That's what he says. Always Hashem has to forgive you. In other words, he agrees probably with Rosman Azariah that you have to go to the guy to ask. But don't think that by going to the person that you did something wrong and you're going to ask him to forgive you and you'll appease him is enough. You might think it's enough. That's the main thing. Ratzis Chavere. Kamzer Bakiva says no. It's not true. Everything. Mimetairas. Chuka is to forgive you. The Abish has to forgive you for every Abedah. So he is adding on me. Because Rebbe Lozim and seems to be saying that he's telling us that you have to appease your friend. Kamzer Bakiva is trying to stress. He's not arguing. He's trying to stress that you're true. You got to appease your friend. But you got to get a kapara from the Abish there also. You can't say that. By the way, Mavuya it says in many places. The mitzvahs between man and man, basically, they're mitzvahs between man and Hashem. For Even the mitzvah between man and man, you have to keep it because the Apish that commanded you to keep it. And that's a known thing. Is the mailis automatically verstanding as Eich Norton was said, is Meratz is a is a snor nor the mechelik from the mitzvahs is homashaychus mit chaveri. So it's self-understood when you did something against your friend, which is against the Eibush too. The Eibush said, "Don't do that." And then you went and you appeased your friend. Everyone understands that that only took care of that part of this that's between you and him. But that gufa has a part between you and Hashem because by not by let's say stealing from somebody, you're not only doing something wrong to him, you're going against Hashem. So obviously. So obviously, in order to become clean completely, also look, because this is a commandment of Hashem, so even according to Rebbe Nazari, when Rebbe Loza ben Nazari said that you have to appease your friend, it's self-understood that he meant that you got to do that in addition to being that after that, you got to ask David to forgive and David has to forgive you. You can't just go to him and not get forgiven from David. That's in the Rebbe Lozman Azariah's words. You can't say that Rebbe Akiva is coming to tell you this, that you wouldn't know from Rebbe Lozman Azariah. It's not true. Everyone would know this from Rebbe Lozman Azariah. So it can't be that's what Rebbe Akiva meant. And if you look, Rebbe Lozman Azariah is actually saying that. What does he say? Rebbe Lozman Azariah said, Avedi Shemunodim Mechavedi, Keeper will not forgive unless you appease him, which means as no ritzu he musman esh onkum to the kapara from yim keeper was it to hakadosh baruch hu. He says yim keeper won't forgive unless you do this, which means that if you do this, then yim keeper will be mechaper. That means that you have to get mechila from your friend, and then you'll be able to get the mechila from Hashem, which comes on yim keeper. So it's clear from the laws of Azariah, even without him saying it would be clear, but it's clear in his words also. That you need a kapara. So you can't say that that's what the Bakiva came to add. So we're back to the question. So we're Pasha the Bakiva is just saying what he's saying, not trying to tell us these all these different things. So why is he saying it? He's Tom telling us that Abish is the one that forgives. We know that. And why didn't they bring the Balozam and Arozarias Raya? Why did they bring the other two A third Kasha. Favos that for Bakiva home Svei Rayas. More years, Madgish for Emer, Bakiva to two Rayas. One brings, Shem says, Rakti Alechem, I'm going to pour a sprinkle. The water on you, and Vaimer he says, Vaimer is an expression of murder. And, and he, another Pasik says, Mikve Yisrael Hashem. So he's bringing two rayas. But then he says, Vaimer, but the Aloshim was vice that the Eshter Raya is mit mashpik. This proves that he says, Vaimer means I have to bring another raya because the first one would not be enough. Lash Nashas, my Vaimer, like many times when the Gemara brings a certain din. And brings a raya and then says and brings another raya. The Gemara always asks, My Vaimer, why did you bring another raya? Why did you say Vaimer? We have to have a reason. So here too, why does he bring the second raya? What's wrong with the first raya? So the beer is there to answer all these shadows like this. Just like we spoke in explaining the beginning of the Gemara. Adi Maila from Basis of Ishta is not at nine in the Avedis from Keeper, nor a Maila in Shlemus and Kane Godel Gufer. We said that this, that the Kane Godel has to be married at Basis of Ishta with the whole Asbore, is not because of the Aveda, not because of what the Kane Godel is going to do. It's just that the person Kane Godel has to be in that high Madrege. And the Farat as a Shaykh has not placed in the Avedis, I mean, Chodes and Keeper and Rebbeat. And that's why this, that the Kane Godel has to be married, is not only in the special Avedis that you did specially on Yom Keeper. But anything that was done 
on that day, Kipsak Din Rambam, even the things that they did on Yom Kippur, which is really done every day, even that needed the Kayan God will be married to Ebeze Zoishte. Why? Because it's not a Din in the Aveda. Nothing to do with Aveda. Nothing to do with the Kayan God. The, the different Avedas that he did has to do who the King Godel is on that day. You have to have the special King Godel. So just like that's in the beginning of the Mesich, the same concept, similar, is in the end of the Gemara. And then it talks about what is the Kapore, the forgiveness and the cleansing, the cleansing that happens on Yom Kippur. From Diver, Rebbe Lozab and Nazari, Vesman, Nor, Yom Kippur is Mechapas. Rebbe Lozab and Nazari said that he quotes the Posik, that could be because of Yom Kippur. It's a holy day. So could be it's a din in Yom Kippur. If them is Rebbe Kiva Meisif, so Rebbe Kiva adds, Ados is, Ados was Yom Kippur is Mechapet, is it's neat nor mitzad them talk from Yom Kippur. It's not only because it's the day of Yom Kippur. Nor mitzad them was demult vet nizgala maylas Yisroel, that day, the specialty of Yidin is revealed. That's why I use the lotion, Ashrechem Yisrael. Lucky are you, Yidin. The Kapore B'yim Kippur, B'yim Kippur is Mitzad Farbund, was his daughter, Rishin Yidin, Mitzadich and Shavash The reason you get the Kapore and Yim Kippur is because there is, it's connected to the fact that the Eibishter is our Father in Heaven. In other words, just like in the beginning of Mesichter, the smile that it says that the King Godel has to have is a din in the person, the smile of the King Godel, so to the end, it tells us that the Kapore of Yom Kippur is Mitzad Amayla of the person, the person meaning the people, the Yidin. It's not Mitzad Amayla, it's something outside. It's the day of Yom Kippur. It's the person. And if them, so, what them Chidush bring to Bekiva Araya, so this is not something, that's a big Chidush, that it doesn't come only because Yom Kippur is a holy day. It becomes because there's a Mayla of Yidin. So he brings Araya from Posik with Arakti Aleich Amayim Terim. Posik says, I will sprinkle on you the Clean the holy water. That Posik is not talking about Yom Kippur. The Ebishter does this, which means forgives us, cleans us, not on Yom Kippur. But the Posik, the Posik, I'll talk about Mashiach will come, then the Ebishter says, I'll do this. So the Posik is not teaching us that it has to do with Yom Kippur. Nochmer, it goes further. When Posik was erecting, this Posik, which I sprinkled the water, is moving. We understand that the Emes Atare Begula Asidis and Sadamayla for Nid Misniatsme. Posik is talking about Mashiach's time. But what it's telling us that what will happen then, why will the Abish there forgive all our Vedas? I will sprinkle. Why? Because of the Mile of the Eden. Was I feel like a Bonahim? Even if you sing, you're my children. And that's what the Abish says he's Abicham, she's the father in heaven. Because we are his children, so it's the Gavra, the person. It's not the day or any, it's the person. Like by the King Godel, it's the person King Godel has to be special. The Yidin are special. The Yidin are children of the Rebishter. So it's Nita Filim, it's other Aved and Tshuva for Nidin. The Posseg, it doesn't mention that it comes because the Yidin will do Tshuva. The estate starts free, and it says before this, Leila Mancham on Yesef is Israel. The Rebishter says, I'm not going to do it because of you. I'm going to sprinkle because of me, which means, that it's not because of anything that Yidin will do. The says it means the Tare is not in Kedushas Hayyim Yom Kippur. The Tare that this post has nothing to do with a special holy day Yom Kippur. Kedushas Hamokim or the holiness of the place, which is the Aved the Kedush Hakadoshim. Or there are few limits that them was Yidin stay in a matzah and Kedusha, and also not because the Yidin are in a higher level. They're in a level of Kedusha. Nor mitzad their milah for the Yidin beetzem becholz manim chol mokim because the Yid is a Yid and the Yid is special. Beetzem is special. Whatever time, whatever place. But Mele, so since the Posik tells us that Abish hey, in the future is going to do this, not because of what we're going to do, it's nothing to do with Araveda. And he's bringing this Posik, Rebbe Kiva, to the, what he's saying, the Gabba Yim Kippur. Mele, Darkman Zogan, we have to say, Azeich Yim Kippur is Taras Yisrael, Nid Blaze, Mitzad Yim Tok, Yim Kippur, the Biyikim, Mitzad Mailas Yisrael. So if you're using it in Kippur, he's telling the same thing as on Yim Kippur. When the Abish ever gives it Yim Kippur, it's not because of, obviously it helps, but not because, just because of the Mile of the day, not because of the Mile of the place. Is because the Mila of Yidin, that's what Abish forgives. But this is the connection to the beginning, is the Mila of the King God. Then he brings another Raya, but from the Posik is not a talk, a Raya Gmur, it's not a real Raya. As is Mitzad, their Mila Atmos of Yidin, it's because the essential Mila of Yidin. Although the Retzibing does Mana Gul, oh, maybe there is talking the time of the Gul. But also as Man for Neis Rotzen, it's a special, auspicious time. When we can Zogna as as Man Grom, but the Gugum with him keeper, so maybe it is because of the time. The time of Mashiach will come will be a special time. 
Like a, a special keeper. And even brings the Bekiva Nocharaya. That's why he brings another raya from Posig Mikve Yisroel Hashem. That the Mikve of Yidin is the Ebishter. He is the Mikve. He cleanses. So there he talks about number one, Mitve Kazman from So it's not talking about any special type. Or number two, Eich von Yidin sein Ikven in Amatzev Shalik at the boy. And even the Yidin are in a situation where they're not good. And for that, we can talk the Posig Mikve Yisroel Hashem. Nevertheless, the Posig says that the Ebishter is the Mikve of Yidin. Ma Mikve. Just like Mikveh makes it Torah, because the Shvorach Matayr is Yisrael, they wish to give stars to Eden. So the second posik shows that there's nothing to do with any special time. So why is they wish to the Mikveh of Eden? Why is it make Eden clean, like, pure like a Mikveh? Because we're Eden. So that stresses more this idea, more than the first posik that this is because of my love Eden. But after the Chavar Pashtein, the Rebbe we have to understand, I'll be there, they'll be giving, they'll bring a northern certain posik, they'll be making Yisrael Hashem, they'll be making If the second posik has a mile over the first, so bring the second. The first you bring is not enough because there's something missing. It doesn't show that it's not because of the time. The second posse shows that, yeah, that's because of the Eden. So bring only the second posse. And the Gemara always does that. When the Gemara says, why do we need two psukim? So the Gemara explains why the first posse is not enough and you need the second. And then many times the Gemara goes back and says, now, so only bring the posse. Why do you need the first? There must be something that the second doesn't have in the first half. So the beer and them, the explanation is like this. The chil vision, the three psukim is, the difference between two psukim is like this. When it says is the purification, because there is a form of purification by Eden that makes a person tome through spritzing. And mikveh Yisro, when it says the second part, the Eden are become toy through David, like the go to a mikveh, is alderach tefil be mikveh, similar to being tefil be mikveh. What's the difference? From the untashed and tefil be mikveh, the difference between the spritzing and the going into the mikveh is like this. The din is like this. When a person is tome, any type of tume, how do you become toy? You go to the mikveh. There's one type of tume that you have to go to the mikveh through, but that's not enough. You only become toy if you get spritzed from the poraduma. They burned the poraduma and they had the ashes, and the ashes lasted for hundreds of years. And you would add the ashes with a drop of water and you would sprinkle that water that twice in the seven days. That would make a person toy even from tuma smes, even by touching a dead body. But the difference is like this. Hazoi means somebody who is toy, spritzes on somebody who is tome. So somebody else spritzes on the person who is tome. is al When you go to the mikveh, you go yourself. Another thing, only the spritzing could make a person pure from being tome and dead body. This is the halacha. The same thing applies to meaning. Just like a mikveh, you yourself go to the mikveh. So iruchnis, it means there are certain things a yid could do. In your own aveda, you could do things on your own, and you could reach get get cleansed and reach closer to the Ebishter. Shasaber is in the dark of Tomei Mesrachmanostan, but it could be in iruchni as a person is in a level like Tomei from a dead body. What got Tomei from the dead body? By Yidin, life is connected to the Ebishter. Because the Posik says, that if you're connected to the Ebishter, you're alive. When we say a person becomes stomach that's connected to a dead body, so he's missing this connection to the Ebishter. A guy like that, then the Tefillah B'mikva won't work, won't be enough. You got to go, you got to do whatever you can. But the spritzing is from somebody else. It means in this case, it has to come from the Ebishte. But says, Nit mitzad zayna veide. That the zrike that the Ebishte does is not connected with what you're doing. It's not your working. You're doing. No, mitzad zayna. Atzvah is speaking forbund with the Ebishte. Was there forbund is almogan. Since you're a yid, you connected the Ebishte. So the Ebishte will spritz you, which means will retire you. In the far, the shas the Bakiv will be bringing our ayah stars and israels and sadzei atzvah zikim ayles. Therefore, the way the Rebbe learns pshat that what's the Bakiv is trying to tell us. That the tara the Debishta makes is because we are Yidin, our Atma Zikimai, not because of the Aveda, not anything else, but his Hekh for the Akbala Sazman, which is beyond time, or need up need up hanging in the Maim and the Matzah of the Israel and Aveda Sashem. It doesn't depend what level the Yidin are in serving Debishta. So, in order to bring at that point, that the second Posik wouldn't have, the first one will. Bring that some Esh and the Posik was Arakti. First, to bring the Posik was Arakti, which means the Tara was his Farbun, with the Atma Zikim Farbun, to meet with the Mabish. That brings out. That there is a tara that comes directly from the Abish and not from us, which means we didn't do anything about it. So it's not because of anything that we did. So why is Abish doing it? 
because we are Eden. So the first posik, which says the Zerakti, shows that this comes because the Asim is the connection. But that's why he brings the first posik, the Zerakti, something the Abishter will do, it comes from him. So obviously it comes from him, not because of what we did, and it's something that has to do because we're connected, we're children of the but as we said, there's a problem with the first Posik, because after all, that's Posik at, talking at the time when Mashiach will come will be an Esros, an auspicious time. Bring to the Ribbon Tzvait and Posik, Mikveh Yisrael Hashem. So he brings the second Posik that the Mikveh of the Eden is Hashem. It's not a special time. Since the second Posik says there's a Tare by Eden, not dependent on a special time, so now that sheds light also on the first post the first post even though you might think that it's because it's a special time by the gula but that's from the second post we see that it's the tara david that happening is not because of the time shows that even the first post is also talking not because it's happening not because of that time but because of the atom connection with eden Abre, so you need a second post to show that it's nothing to do with the time but on the other hand is the amayli national post it's something special in the first posse. The first posse is the main one, and that's why it's the first raya. Because only in the first posse, you see it has to do with the etzim of the Yid, because it doesn't mention anything that the Yid will do. It says, I will sprinkle, I will cook, the Abishta will make you clean. While in the second posse, it doesn't stay there. The first posse says, it's a mikveh, and a mikveh you have to go. So mikveh represents that you do have to do something. So it comes because of what you did, not because the etzim you're connected to the Yiddishter. So the second posik means that. Now the Rebbe continues. Chosh the tara was kumt malayla. The discussions atzmis canal is the ike be ike by azor but she's mitayif from tumas mer. Even though we just said that this tara that comes from above, which is the spritzing, is mainly by spritzing to make it tire from tumas mer. Is a bedo amein zayif by tara be mikveh. There's something similar to that, even when you go to the mikveh. You go to some undos is was Rebbe Kivya is machadish. That's why Rebbe Kivya says ma mikveh, just like mikveh makes it toyer afakodesh boruch matayrat yisrael. He's trying to stress that even by the mikveh, which seems you are becoming toyer, you're doing something toyer. After all, the eibish that is doing it. Eir de tari in them even from mikveh, even when you come clean to a mikveh, which is your aveder. Nemtze from them is Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So who gave the kaya that you are able to become toyer through going to the mikveh? That gufa came from Debush. So even though the main thing is what you're doing, but even that has the kaya of Debush. Now he says, "Move nocha diyik and diber rebakiva." This explains another diyik in rebakiva's words. Rebakiva says like this: Posik says mikveh Yisrael Hashem, and he teaches us ma mikveh metayer es hatmein, just like mikveh makes toyer those that are tomei. Abish they will make a story. Why does he mention a mikveh makes story? Those that are Lchure, the verter is at main is any liberty. These words are extra. I said you can't stay ma mikveh metayer. Afakadosh Baruch metayer. Just like mikveh makes it toyer, Abish makes story. Why does he say just like a mikveh makes it toyer, makes toyer those who are tomei? Well, obviously, it makes toyer those who are tomei. But the beer was there. The explanation is like this. The din by mikveh is an interesting din. By mikveh there's a din as tefila is metayer ech from a mikveh stumen. That if you go to the mikveh, it makes you toyer, even if it only takes a little bit of the tumor away and leaves some of it. What does that mean? It never gives the example. That's haste. A feel of an amen shot of zich nocha tumor. Was the tefillah can it matayah zayin? If a person has upon himself a certain tumor with the mikveh, has two tumors. He became tummy two ways. One thing that the mikveh won't work, and one thing that the mikveh will work. Helps you, but to matayah zayin, the men shnak upon him from the tumor kala. It helps to make the person toyer from the lighter tumor. That means you might think that if a person is tummy with two tumors, you know the thing that you could get rid of a little bit of this lighter tumor and leave the rest. Or you become toyer or you don't. It is not like that. You could go to the mikveh that works from one thing and, it, and the other thing will still stay because it's a case where the mikveh doesn't work. Let's say a tummy mess and the person goes, he's a tummy mess and he's also. Uh, he's to touch the nevela. For touching nevela, you become tummy. You have to go to the mikveh. So he went to the mikveh, but he's still tummy because for becoming tummy from tummy mess, you still got a spritz. So this mikveh takes away the lower. So he's not tummy anymore. To was nevela. When the fathers of Rakiva Medayik ma mikveh metayir as at meim afakadosh boruch matayir as yisrael, just like a mikveh makes toyer a tummy. The Rebbe is learning a new pshat. A pshat we learn. 
just like a mikveh makes toyer a person who's tomei, nobody's shot. Just like at the mikveh makes toyer a person who's still tomei. After the mikveh will stay tomei. But a certain level of toyer it gives. So there's Abish so to the Abish to make the Eden toyer. How? The Ram is the teacher that's Keshem, the mikveh is metayer, ech di was lachri at the blaib mati tomei. The mikveh makes it clean, even though after you will go to the mikveh, you'll still be a certain level of tume. Atare, for mixas tume, it makes it clean, only from part of the tume. Azeirech, HaKadosh Baruch, Matayrech, so the same way the Ebishta makes the Yidin toy, meaning, I eat only trachten. I eat shouldn't think, I'm in a tut shuvah, not a fachil, to not an Averis, but the Ebishta make the Kabbalah in a mix of shuvah. First of all, I think, if I do shuvah, I have a lot of Averis. I did shuvah only for a few. So the Ebishta maybe won't accept it. Or you do shuvah completely, if not, uh, nothing. He's saying no, but in themselves, Nathan, the Amikvah is Matayras at me, just like Amikvah makes Toya the Tomei, which means Eich Divas Blyden Tomei Ech Lachraf, even those that will become stay Tomei to a certain degree. Well, that the Mikvah works and makes them Toya, as they Eich the Rebish, they're Matayar, even Eich when they say, and Tomei Rachman will slap from under Averis. A Yid can become Toya, even if he has other Averis, which is not Toya. And the Asbore in them is, what's like the reason? Why like a Dishboruch Matayar? So he says, the Abish, they make we said before, even when you go to the mikveh and you did something and it's your Aveda, so of course, so it's the Abish that's doing it. But since even by the mikveh, it's the Abish that's doing And why is the Abish that's doing it? He said, because the Yid is connected to the Abish to the There's no limitation. It goes to all times, all situations. It goes even, it makes toy, even this guy who has other tumors. So it all fits the one that the whole Nakud is that there's a tare, kapore, the Ebish gives Yidin because they're Yidin. And all that is in the words of Rebbe Kiva that is Machadish, because they're Yidin. And it doesn't matter what they are, they could be bad. And that's why he says here, even if you stay Tome, tired at Mame, the Ebish is tired even to that. That's the Meridike lesson from the words of Rakiva. That becomes very practical. As comes again, I eat some Abish and Beth. I eat comes to Abish and says like this, and begging. I don't have Kayach, I don't have time to regret all the Averis I did. I have a few, a few open moments. So I'll say video, I'll confess, and I'll do tshuva, and those are Vedas which bother me very much. Kenner Mainen, so you could think, are the Rebish, the Nemtni, Tons, and Azat Shuva, Azat Shuva, the Rebish wouldn't think. Dr. Abakiva's name, no. Ashrecha Misrael, Eden are lucky. Veilisu, Eden, lucky are the Eden, as when the Rebish, the Zet, as I eat hot, so Ima Kergeton, the Rebish said, you turn to him, whatever is a little bit, you turn to him. He's like like machaper. I got this word of matayr Israel machaper because that's like a mikvah matayr with a little bit, a little bit. And the noch, now that you went a little bit, the Eibush the Mitzvah, the Eibush helps you. As the Zayin Mitzvah gets rid of Mitzvah, one Mitzvah pulls another Mitzvah. As a potter then from all the Zayin Averes that the Eibush will cause will help you get potter from all your Averes. He's a a vet in Azamat in Azad Dagi from the Baal Tshuva comes the level of Baal Tshuva, but Sadik Sadikim Sadik Sadikim Gemurim Ein Yecheim Lamet Shom. That even great tzaddik and full tzaddik and can't be there. But it all starts with a little turn. And that's all this because Abisha sees it. It awakens the Etsam connection and Abisha accepts the truth. That's the hardness. So we see the connection the end and the beginning and made it the kiuftu of Rabbi Kiva. Is this a Kal Godlun Shas that when it says Omer Rabbeya or Meya Omer? Yeah, yeah, it's a Kal Godlun So Amol Amol, when it says different, there's a made it the and you Marshall says, "Bishmol Eimer right. Bishleishes Semidah Shatayin and the Dreshes." Right. The Kasha there. So they said, "Omer Bishmol." There's no argument there. Right. But that's a Kasha. So some, every rule has exception. So that's sometimes exception that needs a reason. But the Klal is that if the second opinion is arguing, it says Eimer. If he's not arguing, it starts Omer. This and this person. It says his name first. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Om, if he Omar, starts, yeah. it says his name first. Omer is not Omer Bishmol or Omer. It's a new thing, right? Yeah. It's a new thing. But it's, uh, name Shmolam, that means he's arguing. He's arguing. Okay. Call to Agutana. Okay, Agutana. Thanks.